Well, 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 welcome back guys. How are we doing? I hope you're doing well, even despite the absolutely tragic, terrible news of the new Kazakh skin. Oh, it's disgusting. You know what? I just hope we can all appreciate it for how it is, even if it's objectively inferior to all these other skins. But hey, at least we got one, right? At least we got one. So anyway, for today's game, it's a juicy carry game with one of my favorite builds in the game uh, against some disgusting jack show abusers. Yeah, that item is uh, very interesting. You become unkillable and it's honestly getting annoying to play against as an assassin player, but hey, we consume and adapt, baby. If you guys are new here, make sure you're subscribed. I've got a lot more preseason content coming soon, so make sure you stay around for that. Also, if you could drop a like if you enjoy my videos, it helps me out a lot and I would really, really appreciate it. But hey, without further ado, let's get into this juicy game. Hello, I've got a juicy game for you here today. Uh, so this is probably one of my... Yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite setups to run uh, on Kha'Zix at the moment. It's just the uh, the rune setup and the, you know, the build. It's just, it's just, it just feels so good, man. And uh, yeah, this... Um, this game was a very, very good, uh, intense carry against some Jack Show bullshit and a bunch of uh, very, very uh, good Kha'Zix moments. So, yeah. Uh, do we talk about the new skin? Um, I'm not sure, man. <laughs> I'm not sure if we talk about that in this video. I might make another video uh, just talking about what I, f what I think about the new skin uh, separately, but... Uh, for now, let me just say that I am I'm somewhat disappointed in it. Uh, I don't think it's terrible, but I don't think it's great either. And I just feel like we could have got so much more, but yeah. Okay, so I'm going to leave it at that. We're going to open up with a full clear, and that's just going to be it for the early game. Bit of action going down the bot lane. We've got a Draven, so he's I'm automatically going to run it down. Just kidding. Uh, you know know how Draven players are but this one was actually pretty good uh all right so I'm like I'm looking top here because I noticed the lane is playing pretty aggressively so I'm going to be looking to go up there uh I just say screw my Krugs uh famous last words and I'm going to try and walk up here I actually shouldn't go around this is stupid of me walking up here I thought she was going to hard commit but like it's not going to happen so I decided to walk around um Aatrox misses everything so this is a bit awkward. I try to get my passive slow off just out of range for the Q. Jump jump on her, she flashes, and then here comes Singed. And here is really bad because I don't flash. And I I, I swear, like I literally was pressing F um, as the Singed was about to flip me there. So just a bit unfortunate. I get a bit uh, annoyed, but you know, it's just... Uh, it's just an honest mistake and you know it happens and we're just gonna go down get the long sword and have to run back down into the map uh i do mute all as well because i was like well okay just 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 don't let's not talk about that let's just focus now and uh you know that was that was about it just unfortunate so we see the singed here he's going to go for a gank on the silas uh it turns out he's gonna die which is really unfortunate and Singes over here. I'm going to see if he walks into me because we do have the Zareth here as well. Uh, Zareth comes with me and we chunk down the Singed quite comfortably. We're going to jump in, get closer. So our passive actually resets because we walked through the bush. So that's really good. And then Aurelia is going to go on us. We Q flash out at the last second. She doesn't have enough damage to kill us. And then Zareth is going to pick up the kill. So we're back. Um, we came back from that terrible gank in the early game and now we are in a more comfortable spot and the rest of the game is just much, much better uh you know just so much better <laughs> so so much better i really enjoyed this game i think it was a very good example of how you can play against jack show tanks especially i mean it's really unusual to see a singed in the jungle but let me tell you this singe was really good uh he was crazy super strong and you know apparently jack show is just busted on anyone so apparently it just makes singe jungle viable um yeah Turns out the Draven gets a double kill on the bot lane. That's really nice. That helps my case. Very, very good. And for now, we're just going to go for another full clear. Not really much else we can do. I'm way too low to even consider ganking right now. And so because of that, we have to just resort to taking camps. Don't be afraid to do this, guys. Like, uh, you know, if you drop low, just don't force 
you know, weird ass forced ganks and stuff. Like, it's just not really possible. Our champ's not too strong at the moment. Uh, and by at the moment, I mean like in the game right now, like we're level 5, we just need to get our level 6 and then we'll be okay. So, fight's going on here between the Aatrox and the Fiora. Uh, but I'm busy doing my Krogs, not really going to bother with him. And we're just going to leave. Just kidding. <laughs> we're going to go to the top lane because this looks like a... This looks pretty juicy for uh, for Fiora, I won't lie. So we know she's going to walk up, try to get the brass, grass proc and all that. She gets uh, Aatrox Eid, we're just going to walk up. She misses her parry. We're just going to give her some auto attacks. The Q and the W, and then we're going to get a big shutdown for ourselves. And that's really good. We're going to help Aatrox shove the wave. We're not going to take too much CS. We take a little bit. And we do end up getting 6 off this. This is huge. This is enormous. And now we're just going to be able to snowball quite nicely. So... I'm running a Ghost Blade build again. This is something I love doing. We Ghost Blade first with... Well, yeah, Ghost Blade. <laughs> Ghost Blade with R Evolve and the Ultimate Hunter. Just makes for a very, very juicy early game. I should not have bought boots here though because this delays my Yumu spec. Uh, typically, you want to buy boots like after the initial first item, in my opinion, so that you can power spike as soon as possible. Uh, yeah. And unfortunately, the Aatrox still dies, uh, even though we ganked his lane. A bit unfortunate. We, I'm going to look down here because like this bot lane looks hella low, but it's fine because Draven picks up yet another double kill. Hella nice. Good job, man. So it's nice to know that we actually have some form of uh, you know, human being on our team. We used to actually see the Aurelia here. We're going to instantly R evolve. So when she walks into the bush, we're not going to see her. And apparently she just has nothing up. I'm guessing she like used everything to push the wave or something. And so we're able to just uh, rotate our spells and kill her quite comfortably there. I'm trying to come down here to help out the Draven, but he's going to go down to the Singed. I'm waiting in the bush. We're not going to show ourselves because then the Singed is going to back off and it ruins our chances of killing him. Singed is going to get greedy and he's going to walk in. He ends up trying to go for the Xerath and uh, he just narrowly survives and we get a very juicy, juicy, juicy kill on the Singed. So keep in mind, guys, like... Once you show yourself in that scenario, the Singe is probably just going to run away. Uh, but for some reason, like he decided to re-engage after I chunked him down, when all he really needed to do there was just run away. But, you know, to make sure, to I guess to increase our chances of killing him there, we just sit in the bush, stay hidden, wait until he walks up too far, uh, to the point of no return, of course, and then uh, we uh, bite his ass. Probably not the best way to phrase that, but... You know what, I'm sticking with it. Okay, so we get the Ghost Blade, and we're stacking our Dark Harvest and all our runes quite nicely, so we're in a very strong spot right now. I decide to immediately look for a gank top lane with my Ghost Blade and R Evolve at hand, but unfortunately there's a ward, so she's going to start backing off. Silas is going to go down again. Unfortunate solo laners, but you know, you can't really blame him. It is what it is. I, I actually think I took jungle from this guy. I'm not quite sure. I can't remember. It's been a while, but... Uh, you know, we're just going to be here to kind of catch these minions. Kind of want to do this as much as you can, because that's a that's a pretty respectable chunk of gold. We get a cannon minion too. And we also see Singed in the bot side, so he's trying to fix that broken lane uh, in the bot side of the map. Uh, Singed, yeah, I mean, he gets like a double kill. But this is a perfect chance for us to go for the Herald uh, as a result. So that's good. <clears throat> And uh, of course, perfect timing, as soon as I start up the Herald, Aatrox is going to get engaged on and start a fight. So I just ditch the Herald and I'm like, fuck it, this kill is worth more than the Herald at the moment. And I'm able to just run up and, you know, kind of save the Aatrox there quite nicely. The good thing is that the Herald still took some damage because of the new uh, Patience mechanic and how it works. So like how Patience has been adjusted. It means that the Herald didn't fully reset. So it has still damaged it a little bit, which means I can just resume it pretty comfortably and still pick up the Herald very, very easily because the Singe is still bot side. He's not going to be able to come up and contest here. They do get the Dragon, but it's whatever. It doesn't really matter. And immediately after the Herald, right, we want to go into our camps from the top side. This is just efficient pathing. We want to make sure that we can <clears throat> kind of just get our camps on cooldown and get them you know, on cooldown in a very concise order. So notice how I'm pathing from bot to top uh, from my... From my uh well from my raptors onto my red and normally i would do the krugs but this lane is open here so i'm gonna just take the cannon 
plus 74 gold, like it's super worth it, and a bunch of lane experience too. This is really, really good for me until Silas comes back and, you know, stops wasting his time. And there we go. Super, like, just like that, those small little instances where you can pick up, you know, just a small amount of minions and like a cannon or something, it, they are so valuable in getting you that lead that you so desperately need. And you can see that I'll be doing that a lot this game. And it's how I kind of stay up in levels, despite having some good jungle tempo. Um, with the Rai Revolver and the Ghost Blade and the Ulti Hunter and, you know, everything just clicks, you know, with this build. And that's why I just love it so much. It feels super smooth to play. Uh, I pick up Lucid Boots and the Warhammer. This is for CDR for my Rai Revolve. I'm also building into the Hydra. Uh, yep. Just basically want as much CDR as I can at the moment, just so I can get the R evolve off cooldown. And our R is going to have a very, very short cooldown because of the fact that, well, we have the ultimate hunter as well. So <clears throat> yeah, very, very high tempo build if we choose to, uh, you know, if we choose to be high tempo and aggressive. So uh, something's going to happen here. Fucking these guys are chasing the Zerath. I use my R evolve to ghost blade in. Kaisa is very, very weak. She isolates and then I just one shot her with an auto Q. And I'm trying not to die here, I'm trying to catch the Singe without dying. I fucking just jump on him and he's gonna go down in isolation. He's not quite too tanky yet. I do have some good damage on my hands. <clears throat> so I'm able to just hit some Qs on him and finish him off with EQ auto. Uh, and I also reset my passive with the R just for that quick burst of damage. Also a good tip that, you know, if you need to squeeze out that little bit of damage, you can just kind of press your R before you auto attack, and then bam, you'll immediately use the Unseen Threat passive. So, you know, that's a good trick if you just really need that extra bit to finish them off, but yeah. I'm gonna pick up the rest of my camps in the bot side, and then we're gonna recall. We are going to pick up the Tiamat. So the Tiamat's great because it's just gonna let us, you know, take the AOE camps really, really quickly, a lot faster, and get isolation um, easier, and you know, just gotta go into the hydro now. Uh, I say the only issue with this build is that you don't have the big spike that you normally get with your mythic, but the utility that this build has, like being able to have the ghost blade early to get early kills, and then you go into the hydra second to start stacking and snowballing, and you know scaling. It's just really really good because then you can go into your mythic, and once you get that, like you're just immensely powerful. And you know, just overall, it's like a very good transition. Uh, between items. I'm gonna look for the Fiora here in the top side. I do manage to chunk her down completely. She does not have a parry up. So you can see like I'm not really struggling with damage at all. I don't even use my R evolve there. Um, you might not you you might ask like why the hell don't I use my R? The reason for that is because I'm already like in her point of view. Like I'm in her vision anyway so like there's no point me pressing R when I can just run up and E. So it's it's like R it's like usage like this that will let you kind of survive more clutch scenarios. So let's say if Singe came along there and, you know, I, I would still have my R up to like stay alive if he was there. Anyway, uh, Aatrox is going to have some trouble here. He's going to go down to Singe. Um, I try just full burst this guy, but he's very tanky. And unfortunately, I get caught out by the Lux Snare. Um, he's going to walk up to me. I hit the W, but uh, my Q doesn't go off in time for me to actually kill him. So I'm able... Okay. Yeah, Maybe yeah, like, I, I was surprised at that, because, yeah, like, man. I thought that I would have enough time to get W and Q off, but me using the W there actually, I mean, like, generally it's a good habit, but the fact that I used the W first meant that my Q didn't go off, and because of that, i die. Just super unfortunate, in my opinion. Yoro's gonna go crazy, uh, kill Zareth here, but the Draven is going to just... <sighs> Draven is such a... Draven is just the champion of all time, I guess. <laughs> He's the champion of all time, for sure. Uh, Alright, so when we respawn, we're going to go down into the bot side. We're going to be trying to, you know, just pursue our Hydra right now. We're going to try and catch this wave. We also have a, uh, we also have the bot side camps to take as well. So we got a lot of options here. We also have Dragon up, but you'll see that I instead just decide to instantly recall. And the reason for this is basically because... Well, I mean, like I said, we have the Hydra, so before we do anything else, we're going to pick that up and then we're going to start stacking it. That's the most important thing. You know, like once you once you have Hydra, just back immediately and get it. It's really important you do that so you can start stacking. 
um, unless you have to like take part in a fight or something or stop a gank or whatever. But in that case, I had nothing to do, so we just picked that up. And now we're going to do our thing. Now we're going to go into the map and you know start taking shit. So we go for the dragon here because we have good prior here. See the Zerath, he's actually just chilling in the bush in the enemy jungle. And so we can take this away quite comfortably because they're not actually contesting that. And what I do here is I immediately go back into my jungle and my aim here is to path up topside because we know that the Herald's up. The Herald just spawned, so we want to try and go for that. We also see the Singed here, so this is a perfect kind of opportunity for us to maybe consider going for the Herald here. And on top of that, like there's, we, we do multiple things at, right, at once, right? We don't stop there, we, you know, oh, we're just going for Herald. We're also going for level 11 by taking our camps. So this is extremely efficient pathing. And it's just something you should keep in mind in game. Like you should go for multiple things at once, you know, take your camps um, while pathing up to the right place at the right time, you know, the right objective, go for objectives, try to get those. So many things. And on top of that, I'm in a great position to go for the Fiora here. So we end up getting 11 and doing everything. We also get the Fiora. Uh, it turns out Singe is here as well. I have to jump out though, because he's just way too, you know, he's too threatening. But, you know, I just... Unfortunately, I just go down and I should have really flashed or some shit because my team was here as well Ow. And you can see that the singe is an absolute monster and he's gonna just run over everyone I also got a bit annoyed at the Silas here because I just kind of felt like he did absolutely nothing there And then he went in and just fucking died. So I don't know man uh, We love to see the crazy flash from the Draven. He's gonna get snared and die like <laughs> A bit of a clown fiesta, a bit of a clown fiesta, and just honestly, like, super unfortunate. Super unfortunate. And here I was like, yeah. Uh, I didn't realize we're all fucking useless, and I apparently were not as ahead as I thought. So, yeah. This build gives you the illusion that you're super fed. Um, but you gotta be extremely careful because you have no mythic just yet. Once you get the mythic and you get your armor pen, that's when you can be more aggressive. But yeah, I see the Aurelia here. I'm gonna catch her out before she actually tries to recall. I'm gonna be safe and just use my R to get this kill. She doesn't have anything up. And I'm trying to like just take my time, be patient. It's a good habit to build with Kha'Zix, but then the Aatrox just fucking jumps in and takes the shutdown. Like that's actually really bad because this guy is fucking useless and he doesn't contribute uh, to this game all that much. Uh, I mean, well, he's not like at the moment, but I can't remember if he does later on, but whatever. It's fine, it's just frustrating when you lose kills like that. Especially shutdowns, very important you pick up those beefy kills so that you can, you know, get your items and stuff. Because you're a fucking Kha'Zix, it's really important, but yeah. Alright, we're gonna jump over, we're gonna take this wave because... Well, why not? Aatrox is busy taking Krogs. And we're gonna also get the tower as well. It was honestly a little bit risky jumping over the wall, but I think... that I saw a Singe somewhere else, so I believed it was like, a safe to do so. Keep in mind, like, the only person we need to really care about is Singed. Um, but yeah, Singed is a big issue. We're gonna chunk him down as he's CC'd. Dodge the Aurelia stun here. Not really much we can do here, all that much. By the way, I didn't touch on the fact that we evolved E. Um, I should have mentioned this earlier. But, but E was a big mistake here. Uh, even though it's, like, somewhat working out for me, we should have evolved the W instead because... If we evolve the W, we can just kite out the Singe like crazy, and then he just can't move, and he can never walk up to us. So, it's my mistake not evolving the W. I didn't really realize Singe was going to be such a huge threat, but apparently he's just really just unkillable. He's a fucking raid boss at this point. My team overextends, and they're going to go down. Goodbye, Draven. Goodbye, Zereth. And this is not the greatest, because now I'm wondering, like, what the fuck do I do? Uh, a Surrender Vote comes in. I think everyone's a bit frustrated, including myself. Aatrox just, be, like, he just fucking, I don't know what he's doing. I find the Lux here. I EQ auto attack her in isolation. I'm three levels above her. We're going to one shot her. We have our last whisper now. And the Singe is going to try stop me or, like, get some revenge, but it's not going to happen. Keep in mind, also need to talk about this. I'm running the last whisper next just because they are building Jack Show rapidly and I won't be able to deal damage if I don't have the last whisper item. So I need my LDR. ASAP because otherwise zero damage. Um, I would love to build my mythic but it's just not possible right now. I have to go into the LDR otherwise zero fucking damage against the Singed and also the Aurelia. So I'm gonna walk up here and ping in to go in. I know the Aurelia is low as fuck but she walks into my jungle which is unfortunate. I'm gonna look for I'm still gonna look for her. I'm gonna use my blue pet. 
our evolve from the bush and we're going to jump on her here she does use the w it's not enough though and then we're just going to avoid the singed entirely and jump over the wall with our evolved e i mean we're getting some e value now which is very very nice uh atrox picks up the kaisa very good and and now i guess my team is finally starting to come you know come around we pick up two kills just in time for the dragon so this is really good we're able to pick up our second dragon of the game and this means that we're kind of denying the chance of enemy getting soul which is very good because it is cloud soul and if singed had that goodness me it's gonna be uh, a nightmare honestly <laughs> all right so gonna continue to try and go into the ldr not Cerildas, by the way. Like, the only reason I'm not going Cerildas is because I want the bonus health percent, you know, damage bonus on the LDR. So that I can properly damage Singe, etc. We take away his Grump here. But he's going to go on the Silas here. What can I do here? Jack shit. I can't dent this guy at the moment. It's not going to matter. So instead, I just hang around here. Turns out, Kaisa's just autopilot. Don't know what the fuck she's doing. But she actually gets away with her ulti. Jump in. Kill her. And once again, we have to ignore this guy. No point. There's actually no point in jumping on him. So we have to just, you know, be patient, buy our time, get our items, and then we can start dealing damage to him. So yeah, finally get the LDR. Now we can deal some respectable damage to him uh, without, <clears throat> you know, without having to worry too much about, you know, just dealing jack shit. But, you know, now, um, you know, now we actually have a chance and... The next thing we need to go for is Evolve W. The Evolve W is going to be useful for kiting the Singed. And overall, like Evolve W, you know how it is. Very good. Also very good synergy with Hydra. Walk up to the Aurelia with my R Evolve here. I get stunned. It doesn't matter. But I get a nice combo off on it with an Auto Q, W Auto Attack into Stealth. Uh, auto Attack Q out of Stealth. And then she just kind of dies. So yeah. See the value of the LDR there. Allowing us to do pretty substantial damage even without um, even without isolation. I believe we didn't have ISO there. And, you know, that's just how it is nowadays. Sometimes you need to de deal damage without isolation. And in my opinion, LDR, well, not LDR in particular, any armor pen item and uh, Ravenous will let you do a very, very good job at killing non-ISO targets. Especially Hydra. My god, Hydra Tricker is crazy in minion waves. It's actually funny. But, you know. Okay, so pick up this wave here. I mean, no one else is going to bloody take it. We should be taking everything anyway because we can hard carry this game. Uh, Silas is going to take my jungle. Love to see it. Uh, probably thinking the Gromp still heals him, not going to lie. Yeah, <laughs> but he also denies me level 15 by doing that. So, yeah, I mean, whatever. Lane is going to... Lane is going to take your lane. It's just... Sorry, Lane is going to take your jungle and there's nothing you can do about it. Even if it gives him nothing. You know, man, just got to put up with it. You got to take their lane, uh, take their waves, take the CS. Kind of important. Very important, actually. All right, so my bot lane dies. Singe is actually hiding in the bush here. This is unfortunate. I decide the only way for me to get away is to jump over the wall. I look for the Kaiser at the same time. W flash auto. Try and double jump the Lux for no apparent reason. Uh, she flashes out and gets away because of that. My bad. My mistake. Um, but it's fine. It's not fine, actually. Singe is going to chase me because why? Aww. And then I fail my jump. No, man. No. Just unfortunate. Just unfortunate. Oh, I immediately throw out an FF for Tactical FF for Um, Yeah, I don't know. I was really frustrated after that. But, so you know, what can you do? I swear I jumped over the wall. <laughs> it happens to the best of us. Uh, and, you know, whatever. Okay, we well, are back. And notice my items, right? I'm actually building into the Eclipse now. So this is really important. Out of all the Mythics I could choose, I decide to go for the Eclipse. It's extremely important I do this because I need the Eclipse Shield and I need the Omni Vamp so that I can safely walk up to the Singed. Because no matter what, when I stand next to Singed, he's just going to burn me with his poison. And so it's really important that I have that Omni Vamp to kind of stay alive in the fights. And also, the percent armor penetration is great for the Jack Show users. So yeah. I'm going to R evolve from the bush. Look to find the Lux here. I'm going to use my R evolve to jump between bushes. I do find the Lux. Auto Q W in isolation. One shots her completely. One shot the Fiora basically. Wait for a parry to run out and then Q her for the double kill. And then I instantly ping the Baron to uh, try and take advantage of these two picks that we just got. So yeah, very, very nice. Uh, the R evolve and I guess the leap there. It's kind of nice. Um, 
well not the leap but the r evolve and the ghost blade and the blue pet just so fucking nice man no like no other champ in the game can do that i'm sorry it just feels so good and we finally get the baron this is really good it actually gets me one tick closer to level 16 we also see the aurelia overextending here so we're gonna walk up she's gonna get the tower but it's whatever no big deal uh she's gonna try and do her thing she does have jack show she's excessively tanky but our ldr allows her to deal well some form of damage to her i guess <laughs> she almost kills us which is funny have to use our r it's fine though and we finally get our last evolve which is w for the singed and then pick up the eclipse as well so now now we are pretty much <clears throat> completely prepared to deal with the singed and pretty much everyone in the game at this point this evolution order is by far my yeah it's definitely one of my favorites uh, i love the r into e i don't know why but it just hits different we're actually going to look for something here um kais is dropping very very low she dies to the draven ulti and we're going to look around uh walk around here with the ghost blade look for the fiora here weq fiora don't get an auto range it's fine everfrost actually hits the singed i'm going to use my evolve w to slow him like crazy look at that so damn useful we're actually almost dying to this poison gotta be extremely careful but we do manage to pick him up with the silas and the Zerath. so that's huge right look at the value we're getting from our sorry the value we're getting from w evolve don't get me wrong i would have loved to get q evolve here but it's very clear that we needed the w against the singed now look at this this is how you fucking outplay uh an, Ar an aurelia right She's got full stacks, doesn't really matter. We're gonna WEQ jump on her, get the auto attack off. We're gonna use our stealth. We're gonna run away with our stealth, force her to jump on us, Q into stealth, invisible Q. Auto attack, WQ, fucking kill her in the um, last second before we die to ignite in one more auto. Very nice, that's how you play an Aurelia. Basically, you just have to play around with your stealth and not tank her auto attacks. I thought, I, I did my best to explain what buttons I was, press I was pressing in that in that fight but you know you can kind of watch it back if you are curious about what else i did in that fight but yeah overall just kite just kite guys kite don't don't just stand there and tank with your face you need to use your stealth okay you need to use your stealth this champion is squishy he's a stealth champion use your goddamn stealth okay <laughs> please do okay very important all right so we're gonna go ahead and take the tower i take away the singed blue He's a bit mad, unlucky. What can you do? And notice he has basically full armor, so we basically do no damage. Uh, now we still do some damage because we have LDR. Look at the Kaiser. Auto, auto EQ, auto. Wait, no. Auto EQW. Yeah. Okay. We kill her, and then we got nothing, so we're gonna recall, spend our gold. Right? Don't want to be sitting on piles and piles of gold. I was thinking about Cleaver, but I mean, let's face it. Like, I don't need it at this point. I have LDR. And the LDR with the Hydra and the full lethality build is just going to make sure that I deal lots and lots of damage, regardless of if I have Cleaver or not. I could go Cleaver. I choose not to, though, because I prefer the lethality. Anyway, we're going to go on the Aurelia again. I actually don't have my R this time. I have to wait a little bit, and I end up jumping out just to play safe after chunking her. Again, she jumps on me. We're kiting her away. We're standing still. doesn't fucking matter. We're going to auto attack EQ combo her, and then we're going to jump out again so that we can re-engage with our R, but she does die, um, so we don't actually need to do that. And, you know, just, I love playing against Aurelia because she's, she's a funny champ. You've got the sweatiest motherfuckers in the universe playing her, but she's so easy to play against as Kha'Zix. It's really funny. Anyway, um, we jump over the wall, try to get a W off, but Kai's is going to be scared shitless and she flashes out. <laughs> we love to see that. Um, who's in there? Zareth's there. He's going to get caught out. He's going to die, unfortunately. I use my R-Evolve to go in. I choose not to. Uh, I change my mind. It's way too risky to stay around the Singe like that. And I jump out with the W-Evolve slow. I re-engage. One-shot the Kaiser when she's walking up without uh, into isolation. Use my W now. Start poking them down. Slowing them. Got a peel. Uh, I missed the W. Hilarious. Uh, Fiora gets one-shot. I'm not scared of the Singe anymore. We one-shot him. Yeah, it's funny. Basically, like, two... We kill him in two rotations because we have our full build basically so much damage and we have the eclipse to keep us safe aurelia walks up yet again fucking autopilot 1v3 like what, what what the hell are you doing no one knows what the hell you're doing and then they chuck out an ff for it very good game guys i really enjoyed playing this i hope you enjoyed that's how you play against fucking jack show garbage tanks and i will see you guys 
next time. Catch you later.